Hello, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about principal app. For anyone ever working with principal, you know the struggle. I mean, just look at this. You import your stuff and then you make your connections and then you try to test it and then everything starts flying around. But why does it happen? It's very annoying. Well, it's actually very simple because principal works in a way that between frames it looks for the same names and then it animates automatically these elements so if you have i don't know three buttons it doesn't really know what the heck you want to do because if you might have like two here and three four five here then what should i animate principal asks itself probably it doesn't know so the solution to this problem is unique name for every element you have. How do you get unique names? Well, you go to your designs and then you manually tweak them. You don't want to do that. It's just too much work and it's a waste of time in the end. So I wrote a plugin that changes names of your elements automatically. It's super easy to use and I would like to show you how I work with that. This is some design I found um, in Figma community, I'm just gonna select these two things and I'm gonna import it to principle just to show you what's the current state of these two views, how it works with principle out of the box. This takes some time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna animate tap from this image to this frame. So the image should grow, right? Simple. Well, let's see what happens. So, if I animate also going back, it go kind of just flipped here. Yeah. So, as you can see, this is not good. I mean, what is this? You can't show that to anyone. This is a lot of work. So, enough of this. I'm just gonna delete everything over here. We will start from scratch. I will go to Figma and then how this plugin works is, well, it basically appends something, some string, some letters uh, at the end of every layer name. Uh, but also I want to animate this picture, you know, flying and like uh, growing. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put dash in front of both uh, layer names because I made it in a way if uh, plugin detects this little dash, it will not put this unique name uh, in the end. So you would put this dash for elements you actually want to animate. So this picture is the same element, so you just want to keep the name, right? And then uh, you need to select all your frames or you can you know, select just something in your group or frame but I would assume that you want to like name scramble the whole view so you can just select all your frames and then and then name scrambler you just run it it doesn't have UI it just you know it's a little utility it doesn't need UI and then from this point you see that everything here changed right but this image and this image nothing it stayed the same so they should animate right Okay, we remember how it looked uh, before when we just imported like raw designs. It didn't work at all. We're just gonna import the scrambled um, designs. Ah, my god, this import is terribly slow and I don't think it's gonna get any faster. Okay, so let's try again. And I'm gonna animate the back also. Okay, uh -huh. so what happened is nothing is jumping, everything works. Of course, this is like really sad animation because it doesn't have um, that much movement, but this is a great starting point for you. Now you can actually tweak like everything you want. You don't have to waste three days uh, deciphering why is this jumping from left to right. And also. Since we are in principle, I'm gonna show you one trick. So this group has clip sub layers 
turned on I'm gonna remove it and also for this and you see now this animation is a little bit smoother it doesn't weirdly cut this rectangle it's nicer and now let's mention something very important I need you to subscribe to this channel now like this second it's super important you will forget later trust me just it's better to click now I'm gonna wait okay you subscribed right okay I trust you Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, ciao ski.